Good day, you beautiful people of YouTube. It's the Mad Marine, and it is Thursday. And what do we do every Thursday? We look at the best online ammunition prices. That being said, uh, I did miss Thursday last week. I do apologize. I do thank you for being gracious enough to not uh, flood my inboxes of like, Mad, you let us down. You're so disappointing. Um, thank you on that and uh yeah unfortunately real life got in the way but normally we look at the best online ammunition prices we look at the six most popular rifle calibers the six most popular pistol calibers and we go from there now uh one of the really cool things is we use this kind of great website called ammo seek now ammo seek is just takes a bunch of inputs of data and uh gives us kind of a pulse on what the ammunition market would be at least for the online stuff uh, you know, in stores is really volatile. You know, you just never know what you're walking into, uh, for the most part. You know, sometimes you might be like, like, oh, nine millimeter for 36 cents a shot. Hey, this is a good deal. Nine millimeter for 66 cents a shot. This is probably not the best deal for anybody, um, unless you're super desperate. So, um, online tends to be a little bit better as far as pricing goes in general. Um, the caveat though is, is you really need to buy in bulk and you really, uh, to kind of get those deals. Um, but the other thing is, is a lot of places may not have specialty calibers, so online may be your only uh, avenue. But anyway, we've been doing this since October of 2020, and we're going to be doing it probably until things really calm down, and even then, who knows. Anyway, uh, if you could please like, share, comment, and subscribe, because YouTube does not like anything I do. They do not like anything 2A, and they definitely don't like this channel. So if you could show myself uh, and other 2A community people within YouTube some love, we greatly appreciate it. All right, so let's um, dive into Ammo Seek real quick. One really cool thing about Ammo Seek is they keep track of percentages of what people are looking at. And this week, 9mm is pretty down, 12 gauge is a little higher than what it normally is. Uh, but everything else is kind of pretty much where it needs to be. Some of the hunting calibers are a little higher than normal, but that's to be expected. It's hunting season, right? But uh, percentages are a little less, um, but yeah. So moving right along, let's go ahead and jump into the spreadsheet. Now again, I apologize. I did not record anything for last week. I thought about court recording after I realized I'd forgotten to... or hadn't done a video on Sunday, I was like, oh, I could do it and get Sunday's data, but I was like, you know what, we'll just give it a mulligan, and uh, we'll, we'll try again next week. So, uh, so the data will be essentially over the course of two weeks. So, uh, 556 is at 49 cents a shot, that is down uh, one cent, and 223 is at 46 cents a shot, that is down one cent. And 762 by 39 is at 34 cents a shot. That is down two cents. Um, now, if you're looking at just these three calibers, 762 by 39 is still cheaper to shoot than your ARs. Just throwing it out there, guys. Uh, next is 762 by 51. It is 67 cents a shot. No change in the last two weeks. And 22 long rifle still at nine cents a shot. That is painful. Uh, occasionally seeing it in stores for a little cheaper, but it, for some odd reason, nine cents is just kind of where we're floating. 300 blackout is at 75 cents a shot. That is down three cents. That is fantastic news. Love to see prices drop. Um, three, uh, 38 special is at 49 cents a shot. That is down five cents from, uh, two weeks ago. 357 Magnum is at 80 cents a shot. Hey, it's under a dollar. The fact that it really isn't a dollar right now, um, you know, small blessings. Uh, maybe not the best price, but it could be so much worse. I'll try to look at it that way. 40 Smith & Wesson is at 39 cents a shot. No change. And 45 ACP is at 47 cents. No change. 380 is at 46 cents a shot. No change, and 9mm uh, brass is at 32 cents a shot. No change. Uh, so the difference, uh, or this week, is $5.73 a shot. If you were to take all these totals and add them up, and two weeks ago it was $5.85. So what is that? Seven, 12 cents, 12 cents less than within the last two weeks. 
if we were to take all those. Now, some specialty calibers I told members I would keep track of. And if you have a specialty caliber request, and I feel like there is enough need for it, or um, you know, I'm just selfish and I want to keep track of it as well, uh, throw it out there in the comment section, or you're welcome to email me and say like, hey, would you mind trying to keep a tracking of this particular caliber? I generally try to please, unless it's just something totally weird where it's just like you know you're, you and like two other guys are keeping track of it like you know don't ask me to keep track of 350 legend i'm just i won't do it um but uh if there's something out there that you'd like me to try to keep track of um maybe i'll do it all right so 10 millimeter is at 63 cents a shot that is down one cent and 357 sig is at 63 cents a shot uh, no change 12 gauge 8 shot is at 39 cents a shot that is down one cent and 12 gauge 5 shot is at 83 cents a shot that is down one cent i have been seeing ammo coming into some local walmarts if you can get it that's probably your best avenue as far as shotgun ammo and it will be much cheaper than online or in stores uh shotgun ammo has just been really pricey um not sure why 762 by 54R is at 61 cents a shot. That is actually up 5 cents from previous weeks. 9 millimeter, and I, actually, this is something I need to look into to figure out why, and we might do that briefly here on the channel. Uh, 9 millimeter steel is at 30 cents a shot, so the difference between 9 millimeter brass and 9 millimeter steel is 2 cents. Really just paying for the caliber, and that is no change from two weeks ago. Then 44 Magnum is at $1.10. That is up 10 cents from the last two weeks. So that has gotten a little more pricey. Uh, so actually, let's look at 54R because very odd scenario that it went up. It's 2 by 54R. Did I do that right? No, I didn't because I put an X in front of this. <clears throat> All right. So looking overall, the average cost right now is basically about 61 cents a shot, and apparently you can buy something for $9 and almost 10 bucks. But uh, for some odd reason, this is very expensive right now. And then we do have some brass ammo here. This is probably new production, 182 grain, so that's definitely heavier stuff. But then we have the regular wolf stuff. I assume that's probably Russian. Red Army Standard. But where we did have Yugoslavian brass in previous weeks, what happened to it? Or did they just raise the price? Hmm. Maybe they sold out. But anyway, it had dropped here briefly. I guess they put it on sale or something happened here. But it was down to 59 cents a shot at SGA ammo, and it is not, so it's back up. But anyway, uh, yeah, so here's some new production brass. This should be uh, non-corrosive ammo. Um, but yeah, they're only limiting you two, so that could get kind of pricey as far as shipping goes. And then here's a 500 round pack. But anyway, interesting what's going on with 762 by 54 r uh, kind of hoping this is going to drop a little bit more, but it is slow, slow, slowly. Um, as far as, what is it, 61 cents versus the U.S. equivalent is 762 by 51, so 67 cents. I mean, they're pretty much neck and neck at this point. Um, you know, about 5 cents difference between the two calibers, between 54R and uh, 762 by 51. So, anyway... Just some interesting kind of predicaments of prices change and fluctuate. Anyway, uh, if you ever have any questions, comments, or concerns, you're always welcome to reach out. Throw a comment in the comment section or email me. Uh, the spreadsheet will be in the link below and in the description. And uh, yeah, you can should be able to access it publicly. If not, I can always grant you access. Anyway, this is the Mad Marine signing off. Wishing you guys the best. Have a good one.